Hi, I'm Sally Thibault and welcome to the three minute turbo coaching session. This week I want to talk about the one aspect of intuitive eating that most people either ignore or are not aware of. You know, when I first embraced the art of intuitive eating many years ago, it was a slow process. And when I began teaching my clients, I found for many of them, embracing this art of intuitive eating can be really challenging, especially if for years have been into restriction or diet mentality. So I created the four step methodology to help people understand how to embrace this. But it's the fourth aspect of the four step methodology that I believe is actually the most powerful. Let me just quickly run through the first three. Number one is individual. And this is where you allow yourself. I now allow myself to eat anything I want. Very, very powerful. Again, especially if you've been involved in intuitive in dieting or restrictive eating in the past. Number two is the intuitive part. This is where you're asking your body, what does my body really feel like? Now, again, for many people, this is challenging because you've got to get out of your head and learn to trust your body. The third aspect is what I call intentional. This is where you're going to affirm the choices your body makes without judgment. Again, lots of inner work often has to happen around this particular aspect. But it's the fourth one, the fourth one that is so incredibly powerful. And this is called informed part, or what I call acknowledging. This is where you ask the question, how does this particular food make me feel? What you're looking for is that you want to eat food that enhances your energy, your vitality, and keeps you on top of your game as far as it comes to immunity, which is incredibly important right now. But if you're eating foods that do not agree with your body, your body will send you the messages. Now, whether you choose to listen to that or not is all based around how you value and honor your body. Because when you value and honor your body and you listen to the messages that body is sending you when you're eating particular foods, it's a whole heap of empowerment that happens right there at that message at that time. Because you're not restricting food What you're doing is making choices based on how you want to feel. And when when you're making those choices, there's something that happens to you feeling totally in control of the process. It's the number four aspect that is so critically important. How does this food make my body feel? And when you reach that aspect, everything changes. I'll see you soon.